Savage. Now, our first guest tonight is a tennis Grand Slam wheelchair singles champion who won this year's Australian Open in Melbourne. Yeah, and he's back home in Scotland, fresh from another incredible singles victory in Rotterdam. Gordon Reid joins us now. Gordon, thank you for coming on the show. Yeah. Good Thanks to see you. Me. So, first of all, congratulations. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels brilliant. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to finally come home and uh, yeah, get back to the, the cold air in, in Glasgow again. <laughs> After, you know it's uh, that heat. <laughs> I know it's been it's been a little bit too too much for me in January. Too too hot over in Melbourne. So uh, yeah, it's nice to come home and, and share uh, share the success with my friends and family. Now you have obviously won Grand Slam doubles titles before, but this is the first big singles one. Does it feel different to know that you've done it totally out of there on your own? Yeah, I mean it is a different feeling uh, when you're out there in the doubles court with uh, with your partner. Uh, you know it's. It's not just down to yeah. you, it's down to, to you two as a team. Yeah. Uh, whereas, yeah, when you get that moment by yourself, just, just lifting the trophy on your own, it's, uh, it's pretty special. Oh, incredible. <laughs> that is a brilliant picture. What do, you, um, what do you feel and what do you think of when you look at that picture? Uh, it kind of brings me back to the match point and uh, just the moment when I, when I actually won it. And, uh, you know, seeing I had some friends that were out in Australia travelling. Uh, and they were watching me in Melbourne and, you know, looking over in the crowd and, and seeing them just going crazy. And then uh, I had my coach on the other side who, you know, went over to her and gave her a big hug afterwards. So, yeah, a lot of um, happy emotions come back when I see that. What was that moment like? Can you put it into words or is it just the best moment in your life? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was up there, yeah. That's one of my, my really good friends, Gary, who's uh, yeah, been a friend of mine since I was young. So it was nice to have him there as well. But, um, yeah, no, it was a really special moment and it actually took me a second or two after the, yeah. the match point finished to you know look around and and realize that it actually happened and it was actually real yeah. uh, and then you know i was just full of adrenaline and my head was just fuzzy but yeah, i was just enjoying it <laughs> yeah. people at home might be thinking what exactly was gary saying to you at that, that <laughs> point yeah. is, is that broadcasting yeah, is it maybe, just well done? maybe not this time of night, no. <laughs> um, now your win has brought the spotlight even further over into into scottish tennis and also wheelchair tennis so you must be pretty proud of that achievement as well yeah i think it's one of the the great things that you know comes with success is uh, the fact that i get the opportunity to, opportunity to kind of increase the profile of, of Scottish tennis, but yeah. also wheelchair tennis. Um, it's a sport that, you know, maybe not that many people still know about. So any opportunity I get, um, you know, through my successes to increase the, and you know, give a little bit back to the sport that's given me so much is, you know, it's great for me. Yeah, now you're obviously, you're not in the, the show tonight, but you obviously do all your training and your your games are all sort of in the wheelchair. Is it quite an easy thing, to, I suppose, to, to get move and move around the court and stuff? It must take so much hard work out there training. Yeah, it'd be a lot faster in, in my tennis chair than I am in this couch. But uh, <laughs> no, I mean, this uh, couch move at all. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I mean, the one thing with wheelchair tennis is you don't have to be in a wheelchair all the time to, to play the sport. Um, yeah. You need to have a physical disability, which uh, you know qualifies you to play. But yeah, I mean, there's a you know a, quite a, a wide variety of different disabilities uh, that people that play. But yeah, it's um, taken a lot of time to, to learn the movement and master the, the skill of moving the chair around the court. So mm -hmm. yeah, it doesn't doesn't happen overnight. It's um, incredible. What was it like getting back into the court in Rotterdam then after um, after the Grand Slam win? Um, it was it was interesting because uh, the first sort of couple of days I went out there and I I had a little bit more expectation of myself. I was like, right, you've just won in Melbourne, you've got to be playing well, you've got to you know show everybody mm -hmm. how good you are. And actually, probably made me play worse because of that extra little bit of pressure. But then, when I got to the final, I was a little bit nervous in the final, and I actually was telling myself inside my own head, like, "You're the Australian Open champion. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to be nervous. Here. Just, just enjoy You've it." You've broken it. Yeah. 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 Right. Listen, Gordon. Uh, congratulations again. Thank you for coming. Thank in to you see so us. much for Thanks coming. For having Come back and see you soon. Oh, yeah. I know.